Redbeard's fantastically amazing hometown brewery, New Ontario, redesigned their cans recently, and they have a new beer in can form that wasn't available in can form before. What be going down, people of the world? Redbeard here, coming at you from his couch. Welcome back to another daily drink vlog for the beer of the today. We have got a can of Tree Topper Red Ale by the New Ontario Brewing Company. Hell yeah! Look at that beautiful can. Yes, yes indeed, and they've got everything that should be on it, on it, I believe. No criticisms like I made of the blonde black IPA and frisky peats when I tried them with the old labels. Let's crack her open. For today's glass. Let's see what we've got. Of course it had to be a new Ontario glass. Come on now. Redbeard loves the new Ontario. He loves you guys too. As always, all the thanks in the whole wide world. One of those you want to watch my videos. The, the beard loves you. So very, 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 very much. Not gonna lie, I have tried this beer. I've tried all the new Ontario beers. There's still a couple more I need to review. But, yeah, I've tried this. I like it. It's got a very, very nice, malty smell to it very very nice but it's hoppy as well let's give her a shot oh. it's got a nice kind of malty start and then a decent hop kind of kick comes in and it's just lovely it's a really 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 nice beer Anybody thinks I'm biased towards these guys, go check out the review of the Black IPA or Twin Monocle. Wasn't a huge fan of that either, but the majority of them have been great. And with that being said, let's do this. Cheers, everybody. Mmm. It's got big flavors. Like the the maltiness is really there and then the hoppiness, it's it's a good hoppy kick. But not I, I haven't checked. I'm going to guess somewhere in somewhere in the 30 IBU range is my guess. Let's find out. 35. Uh, I was pretty close. Good for me. With strong hands and heavy axes, the tree topper climbs with careful steps. Inspired by the forest in which the tree topper plies his dangerous craft, this deep red colored ale has a piney nose and flavor with a touch of citrus, a refreshing companion by the fire at any time of year. This beer can quench even a lumberjack sized thirst. Timber! It just says timber, but you know, you gotta yell timber. No lumberjack ever talked a tree into falling down. Maybe one talked at just the right time, you know, good timing as the tree died, and it could happen. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ooh. Nothing bad going on there. Contains water, malted barley, malted wheat, hops, and yeast. NewOntarioBrewing.com Yeah. There's no date, but they're still not in the LCBO, so you literally have to go to the brewery and buy this in this kind of can. So, no date is, is acceptable right now. I'm pretty sure that once they get into the LCBO, dates will become a thing that happens. It, it, it should happen. Do it. Oh, you got a lot of good things going for you. Great bunch of people. Every time you walk into the store, you get fantastic service. Great beers you're making. You've upgraded the labels. Getting into the LCBO. That's going to happen. That is happening. Yeah. Dates. Put some dates on things. That, that's it. 
That's all I got. Good, good, good beer. Today being July 21st, on this date in 1904, Louis Rigoli? It's, it's French again, so, yeah. He was the first man to break the 100 mile per hour barrier on land, and he drove a 15 liter Gobron Brilli in Belgium. I don't know, 15 liters is a huge engine to get to 100 miles an hour. And then, oddly enough, in 1925, Sir Malcolm Campbell became the first man to break the 150 mile per hour land barrier. And he did it in Wales, driving a Sunbeam, which was basically just, you know, a nice car back then. Not, not an insane 15 liter four-wheeled tank, basically. In 1983, the world's lowest temperature in an inhabited location was recorded at Vostok Station in Antarctica, and it was minus 89.2 degrees Celsius, or minus 128.6 Fahrenheit. That's fucking chilly. Oh, makes me shiver just thinking. It's, it's nice to think about coldness in my hot home, you know? Lovely. Although the heat wave has kind of broken. It's still warm, but it's not hot as hell. Sad to say, time to kill the three topper. Three numbers are last. A little bit of citrus comes through there. It's really not high on the citrus level at all, but there, there's a bit in there. So, New Ontario Brewing Company, your tree topper red ale. Rating. It's a solid... That's a nine. That's a nine. It's absolutely nine. It's not like amazing, incredible, you know, but you've got everything going on, except the date. But... Yeah, that's good shit. And that is going to do it for today's Daily Drink Vlog. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then be sure to smash that like button with your face. Kapyaw, kapyaw, kapyaw. Thanks again, and I'll be back with another Daily Drink Vlog tomorrow. Peace out! Yes, brain burns my flesh, love and it feels just like death. Cigarette and MJ bread, that description of me is the best. I don't need to be so rude. The system put in place fucks you Don't let them put you in a box so Don't let them Just remembered something! Luke over at New Ontario, when he gave me the Sapsucker poster here, he also gave me this. And this is basically exactly what the new Bear Runner Blonde label looks like. So, you know, it's actually pretty cool. Guy running from a bear, it's pretty funny. But yeah, I'm pretty sure... They have this label, that label, Frisky Pete's is getting a new label, and I think that their IPA is going to go into cans as well, so that will be tried.